Hey guys, what's going on? Ian Lawler here uh, with with the most beautiful yeah. wifey ever. Uh, so we got a pretty light day today. It's deload week. I know it's been a couple weeks, at least two or three weeks since the last time we uh, did some filming. Sorry about that. It's uh, it's been really really hectic around the gym with this big remodel and everything. So uh, let's see. Today we're already done with warm up, uh, stretching, mobbing, all that stuff. Uh, now we're moving on. So we've got uh, on a minute, ten minutes, alternating minutes. So. Uh, odd minutes. We got one squat snatch at 185 pounds. Even minutes. It was supposed to be six thrusters with 70 pound dumbbells um, in each hand. I don't have 70 pound dumbbells. I have 80s and 50s. So I figured I'd rather go 10 pounds over on the dumbbell than 20 pounds down. You know, uh, that's a that's a big drop off. Um, and I'm probably going to subtract one or two reps. I might try to do like four or five reps instead of six because uh, you know. It's a pretty big difference. 20 pounds is a big difference on a thruster. So, uh, uh, all right, let's, oh, excuse me. After that, we got uh, three sets, 500 meter rows. Uh, rest to full recovery in between sets. Um, first round, minute 50 by 500 meter pace. And then it says round two, fast, and round three, faster. <laughs> so, and then we got some basic accessory work after that. All right, guys, as always, it's clobbering time! <laughs> got done with the uh, the on the minute man i gotta say um i've never done thrusters with 80 pound dumbbells in each hand before uh combining that as a couplet on the minute with uh uh 185 pound snatches um i'm not gonna lie that was uh that was gnarly my last uh minute on uh, my thrusters i wasn't 100 percent sure i was actually going to be able to get them in i was having a heck of a time getting them cleaning the dumbbells up to the the front rack position correctly um Again, just new movement. Never done it before. Uh, it was a lot of a lot of fun. I already finished my first round on the uh, the rower over here, so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to hit my next pace at between a minute forty and a minute forty five for my next round of five hundred. So I'll catch you guys here in a minute. Oh! Uh, so Nordic hamstring curls, which are on the GHD machine. We've got 
got some uh, double dumbbell single leg RDLs and then uh, hamstring walkouts, which I just learned about. Look a little funny, and we're going to give it a shot. Clobbering time, take two. So, fun little short training session today. Uh, added uh, one extra exercise in with the, the heavy hip extensions there. Nothing crazy, just uh, did three sets of three. And, uh, my weight was like 275, so not, nothing crazy. But uh, um, let's see, thought for the day. Okay, I get so tired seeing so many people wearing a freaking weightlifting belt every time they go in the gym. All right, if you're a bodybuilder and you care more about aesthetics than performance, by all means, wear your damn belt. I don't care. You, you're not who I'm talking to anyway. Hate to break it to you. You, you. You're not an athlete. Bodybuilders are not athletes. Sorry, they're not. Um, but with that being said, I don't put a belt on until I am over for power movements being clean and jerk, snatch, back squat, front squat, deadlift. Um, when I do my, my strongman stuff with my stones, my sandbags, or my Husafel, or the axle bar, or any of that stuff. If I'm not over 80%, I'm not wearing a belt. Um, when you guys are moving for real in, in life, playing with kids, working on vehicles, whatever it might be, you, you're not gonna have time to go snatch up a belt and throw it around your waist. This, this your belt. The way the rectus abdominis muscles work straight up and down, and they tie in with your, your obliques, right? or some also known as the serratus anterior um, or your serratus muscles just in general, they all form together to create you know, what's called the abdominal wall. Okay, when we breathe in and we learn how to pressurize in a 360 degree pattern, those belts are not necessary, especially when you're moving, you know, sub 80% loads. Right now when I'm going over 80% and I'm doing, um, you know, especially like, now, I'm doing five sets of five at 335 pounds or 355 pounds on back squat. Uh, you know, that, that's a lot. Doing 25 reps at 350 pounds on back squat is, is a lot. Of course I wear my belt. That, that's insane to think so. I don't touch a belt until I'm at those working weights. Uh, again, that's just my personal preference. But if you want quality of life, if you want sustainment for performance, don't use tools that you don't have to use. Let your body be the tool. I walked into a CrossFit gym one time and it was the coolest thing, I, probably one of the coolest quotes I've seen on a CrossFit gym's wall. It was a uh, question, where are the machines? And then response or answer was, we are the machines. Catch y'all later, peace. Like, subscribe, do the thing. Maybe reach through the screen, choke your ass out.